Hola, buenas. Having recently turned 30 last Thursday, I feel inclined to take a moment today to reflect on my 20s. In doing so, I'd like to share some valuable lessons I learned during that period, hoping that they can help you make the most of your journey through your 20s. If you're no longer in your 20s, maybe you can let me know how many of these you managed to do, or maybe there's some that you're still working on. In the end, we are all on our own personal journey and this video is simply a bit of fun so if you haven't completed any of these don't take it to heart in addition just because you haven't done these things doesn't mean you can't do them in your 30s or even later on in life create habits of your hobbies and pastimes take the time to discover what truly excites and inspires you try new hobbies engage in creative pursuits and seek out experiences that ignite your passion for me this was doubling down on going to the gym. I finally figured out what worked for me. Some people like morning gym routines. I personally hate mornings, so I fit this in after work. This is exceptionally helpful on a particularly stressful day when I feel I need an outlet to let out the stress and anxiety of the day. Consider your health and wellness. This is related to the previous entry and goes for both physical health and mental health. Establish a foundation of healthy habits by maintaining a balanced diet, staying active and nurturing your mental well-being. Take care of yourself now and it will have long lasting effects later on in life. Focus on personal growth. Invest in self-improvement by setting goals learning new skills and working on personal development. Use this decade to enhance your abilities and shape your character. I used my 20s to accept who I am and surrounded myself with people I wanted to be associated with. When you're very young, it's difficult to pick and choose who you stay in touch with. You go to school, you do your work and you go home. In your 20s, you have the time to build your identity and come to terms with your own limitations. This leads us nicely into our next point build a strong network. Cultivate meaningful connections with like-minded individuals who share your interests, values, and aspirations. Surrounding yourself with a supportive network can open doors and create valuable opportunities. On the flip side of this, detach yourself from detrimental connections with individuals who impede your personal growth and well-being. Severing ties with toxic individuals can alleviate problems and enable positive progress in your life. Some people are just long, cut them out. Take risks. I was actually going to say take calculated risks for this one, but actually, if there's one point in your life when you can make mistakes, this is it. You can afford to make silly mistakes in your 20s. We're not talking about getting a girl pregnant or drink driving. Be sensible in those regards, but don't be afraid to step outside of your comfort zone and pursue ambitious endeavors. At the end of the day, the worst case scenario is that you end up back with your parents or with a legal guardian. I mean, in the end, risk can have the potential to lead to growth and personal fulfillment, even if the final result is not what you're particularly looking for. Learn to do personal finance. Start developing good financial habits early on. Learn about budgeting, saving and investing to secure a stable financial future. Making smart choices in your 20s can set the stage for long-term financial success. I'll be honest, I probably started this one a little bit too late and quite frankly, in my early 20s, when you're working in a part-time job, it's the last thing that's on your mind. But in hindsight, if I could go back, I'd have read more books on personal finance, watched more videos, and started an investment portfolio far earlier. Embrace failure and learn from it. Don't let fear of failure hold you back. Okay, so for just a moment, imagine you're a baby. A baby doesn't just start walking. Through trial and error, a baby slowly learns to walk by falling again and again and again. When we fail, we feel bad and we punish ourselves, which is not the right mindset to have. Embrace challenges, learn from your mistakes, and use setbacks as an opportunity for growth. Developing resilience and a positive mindset is crucial. 
It's okay to have off days, but after that day ends, wake up the next and tackle it head on with a game plan. Nurture relationships. Invest time and energy into fostering meaningful connections with friends, family, and romantic partners. Building strong relationships can bring joy, support, and a sense of belonging. Personally, I've had some difficulties coming to terms with this one myself. I have always struggled to open up and build meaningful connections, but it's something even to this day I'm working on and I have genuinely good intentions. Accept help from others. I think it's very easy to be prideful and want to stand on your own two feet and say that you did this for yourself and no one else helped you. Take a moment and reflect on that idea. It's simply not true that people can make it to the top without the assistance of others. Whether it be financial, emotional, or any other way, we all need help. Human beings are social species that rely on cooperation to survive and thrive and help others that deserve it. Define your own path. Resist societal expectations and define success on your own terms. Follow your passions, values, and dreams, even if they diverge from the conventional paths. Your 20s are a time to explore and shape your unique journey. And that concludes our 10 things to do in your 20s. Thank you for watching this week's video. Happy birthday to me, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Uh, ooh, ooh, eh, ooh, 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 ooh.